Having been cast out from her stronghold for refusing to be yet another of the chief's many wives, the Blade Dancer decided to turn her back on everything that is orcish, including the forge, and any notion of honorable combat, at least as far as the orcs are concerned. So she quickly found herself falling in with the Dark Brotherhood and becoming an expert assassin. That's where she learned how to sneak, but she also focuses mostly on her speed and athleticism to make short work of her enemies, who have been slowed down or encased in frost thanks to her love for magic. Ordinator affords a lot of good synergy, I feel, between frost magic and dual wielding. Uh, with frost magic, you have a lot of slowdown effects. Um, you're able to encase enemies with frost, so they're immobilized for a period of time, and they generally become paralyzed once they drop below about 25 points of health. While they're in, in any of those immobile states or slowed states, you can of course just rip through them with your fast dual wielding attack, power attacks and uh, the bleed effects from the daggers. And if they do manage to get some attacks on you, you are reducing their amount of attack damage with your one-handed, some of your one-handed perks. So that works really well together considering uh, you have no armor and because we've had to use a fair number of stat points for magic and stamina, you know, we're pretty squishy when, when it comes to that. I also used Andromeda Standing Stone, so I don't have the armor of something like uh, the Lord Stone from Vanilla, uh, or the um, Resist Magic from that, or the ability to absorb magic with the Atronach stone. So all those things combine to, you know, you need to have as much crowd control as possible and slow down your enemies, prevent them from doing damage to you so that you can take them out as quickly as you can. The final kit for this build includes Windshear, Valder's Lucky Dagger, all of Cicero's clothes with the exception of his hat because it just looks silly, and I also picked up the Ring of the Erudite and a Circlet of Peerless Destruction to help reduce the number of stat points going into Magicka, which allows us to both cast all the spells we're using and have enough health to actually survive some of the fights. Uh, Cicero's Gloves and boots also help with the sneak aspect of the build if you would like to do some nice stealthy backstabbing.